IEC is part of the Rexdale community, which is an often neglected and under-resourced community that has been disproportionately impacted by youth homicides. We at IEC believes in the importance of education as an alternative. Giving youth focus in the pursuit of their dreams and aspirations, so we offer a scholarship to one student living and attending school in the Rexdale community. Hi, my name is Michaela and I'm a student at Brock University in its concurrent education program. My major is physical education and my minor is dramatic arts. When applying for the IEC scholarship, you should know that everybody in the committee as well as in the IEC community is here to help you. So all you need to know is that you can reach out for anything. When applying for the scholarship last year, I found that the process for me overall was a bit of an easy one. Besides the fact that I just got a little nervous during the interview, just because I found it a little nerve wracking that the people that were interviewing me have watched me grow up in the IC community. Um, I think that it's important to volunteer because I think that it's really important to give back to your community. IEC has been giving out scholarships to students since 2010. To date, we have been able to bless 46 students with funds raised solely from events and generous donations. This has helped students to pursue their unique skill set given to them by God. Getting a scholarship helped me achieve my educational goals because it's actually the device that I use for my schooling right now. I'm so grateful for that. The advice that I have for future applicants is to just reach out. That's what I did last year. Any question, any concern, any writing piece that I needed help with, I just reached out to someone in the committee or in the IEC community and they all helped me with that. A scripture verse that I advise to hold on to when applying is Proverbs 27 um, and it reads, iron sharpens iron. I think that that verse is so important and it can be applied to any part of your life. Just remember that those that you have around you impact you whether you realize it or not. IEC is proud to support the youth and young adults at IEC and those in the Rexdale community. Hi, my name is Ahidi Ame Michael Agbole. Uh, I was a recipient of the IEC scholarship in 2010. I went to school at McMaster University, where I uh, majored in economics, then went on to pursue my MBA a few years after, also at McMaster University. That educational background set me up for my current career today. Um, I'm an investment banker at one of the financial institutions here in Canada. When applying for the IC scholarship, the process for me was to submit my transcript, an essay highlighted in why I was deserving of the scholarship, and finally, you know, a summary of my volunteer experience. And with that mentioned, I'd like to sort of maybe harp on why I think it's so important to volunteer. First and foremost, you know, as Christians, I think we're called to serve. So I think it's important for us to share our God-given gifts and talents with uh, communities and people who are in need of these uh, talents. Secondly, I do think that it helps you grow as an individual. And finally, I think just getting into the habits of doing things without uh, the expectation of receiving anything back in return is uh, an important skill set to continue to develop as we all um, grow and proceed with life. Um, when applying to a scholarship, I think it's important to know that I think the committee looks beyond just academics. So to, to the extent that you're able to try to show forth that you are well-rounded, highlight some of the things that you do for fun, some of the ways in which you impact the community outside of the classroom. Um, in terms of the scholarship and what it meant for me specifically um, and sort of how it helped me achieve my educational goal, the scholarship, I think, gave me a good, strong start. Uh, philosophically speaking, I think it's important in every facet of life to get a get off to a strong start because I think you are disadvantaged if you have uh, otherwise slower start versus other people. For me, I used the proceeds of the scholarship to purchase my uh, first year textbooks, which allowed me then to sort of focus on the reason for which I came to Hamilton, which was to sort of focus on my academics and uh, focus on, you know, improving my craft. 
So one piece of advice I think I'd like to give, you know, applicants for the IEC scholarship is for you to try as best as possible to be true to yourself. And what I mean by this is that each and every one of us has a skill set or something that is unique to us that cannot be replicated in other people. Or said differently, like no one is better at being you than you. So to the extent that you're able to show forth some of those things that make you very unique, I think it'll put you in the best light when applying for the scholarship. Um, you know, over the years, as well as when I was applying for the scholarship, one Bible scripture that sort of has resonated with me and continues to resonate with me today, and I imagine will continue, uh, will continue in the future, is 1 Corinthians um, 3 verse 6. It reads, I planted, Apollos watered, but God made it grow. And for me, that's my favorite Bible scripture because I think it applies with almost everything in life. I think it's important when we think about our goals that in order for us to get anything, we need to work. And that's the first half of that scripture, which is the planted. But the more important part of that scripture for me is that God made it grow. And why that resonates with me is because nothing is possible without God. And that's what that sort of highlights for me. So it's I think it's, it's twofold. It's important that we all do the work to get whatever goals that we are striving for, but also never to lose sight of the fact that without God, no real progress or results is possible. We look forward to receiving their applications for the 2022 scholarship year. I'm praying for you guys, praying for you guys, and you can do it. So with that being said, I'd like to say good luck to all the applicants. I am praying for you, and I believe that each and every one of you can do it. But until then, God bless, and I'll take care.